Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday. Hope you guys had a great week. Got a lot of action on this MLB slate for the weekend here. 15 matchups. Go ahead and like and subscribe, guys. Support the channel. You guys have been amazing. Go ahead and check out all my links in the description below, as well as becoming a YouTube member today, getting access to that private Discord server, which I'd love to have you guys be a part of that community I have in there. And yeah, those links are in the description. Go ahead and check those out. Going to get started. 15 matchups, starting with the Detroit Tigers versus the Chicago White Sox. Pitching for the Tigers is Tariq Skubal with an area of 4.49. 4.59, he's 2-7. and seven. Pitching for the White Sox is Lucas Giolito with an area of 3.73. He's 5-4. and four. The White Sox opening up as favorites at minus 220. Detroit plus 200 with the over-under at 8.5. Yeah, you know, anytime I pick a plus 200 or, you know, minus 200 team, never win for me. Insane, the highest value on the board for the Tigers here. Maybe I'll add some the White Sox to some parlays or something, but I'm um, going to take the Tigers at plus 200. Insane value. They could definitely win this game for sure. Uh, not too much of a pitching advantage on the White Sox end. Um, we're going to take Detroit on the plus money. Next matchup, we have the Cincinnati Reds versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Pitching for the Reds is Tyler Mall with an area of 3.42. He's 4-2. Pitching for the Cardinals is Johan Oviedo with an area of 5.40. He's 0-2. Cincinnati opening up as favorites at minus 132. St. Louis plus 105 with the over-under at 8.5. Yeah, I really love the Reds in this matchup. Tyler Mall has been really nice on the mound here. Definitely the pitching advantage goes to the Red Sox, the, the, the Cincinnati Reds here. Going to take the Reds in this one. Next matchup, we have the Houston Astros versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Pitching for the Astros is Jose Urquidy with an area of 3.2, 3.02. He's 4 and 2. Pitching for the Blue Jays is Ross Stripling with an area of 5.11. He's 1 and 3. Houston opening up as favorites at minus 115. Toronto minus 105 with the over under at nine and a half. Yeah, loving Houston here. Uh, definitely a pitching it, definitely a pitching advantage for the Astros here. Jose has been really good on the mound in this one. Um, Going to take the Astros here. Next matchup, we have the Cleveland Indians versus the Baltimore Orioles. Pitching for the Indians is Aaron Savale with an ERA of 3.28, seven and two. Pitching for the Orioles is John Means with an ERA of 2.05. He is 4-1. Baltimore opening up as favorites at minus 115. Cleveland minus 105 with the over-under at 8.5. Yeah, you know, two really good pitchers in this matchup here. Not enough, not enough kind of juice for me to really pick the Orioles in this matchup. John Means has been really nice, but um We'll take the underdogs in Cleveland. Aaron's been really good on the mound here. Um, take the better team in this matchup. Going to roll with Cleveland. Next matchup, we have the Miami Marlins versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Pitching for the, Myri- Pitching for the Marlins is Trevor Rogers with an ERA of 1.87. He is 6-3. Pitching for the Pirates is Chase DeJong with an ERA of 1.80. He is 0-0. Zero and zero. Miami opening up as favorites at minus 150. Pittsburgh plus 130 with the over-under at 7.5. Yeah, you know, I really love Trevor Rogers on the mound. Been really good for the Marlins this season. Don't know how well I can really trust Chase DeJong on the mound. Um, um, we're going to roll with Trevor Rogers here and go with the Marlins. Next matchup, we have the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Texas Rangers. Pitching for the Rays is Rich Hill with an ERA of 3.32. He is 4-2. Pitching for the Rangers is Colby Allard with an ERA of 3.38. He is 1-1. Tampa Bay opening up as favorites at minus 150. Texas plus 130 with the over-under at 8.5. Yeah, I really love Tampa Bay in this matchup here. Rich Rich Hill has been really good on the mound. Not too much of a pitching advantage here, but uh, just going to roll with the much better team in this matchup and um you know take the Rays at a pretty decent value next matchup we have the washington nationals versus the philadelphia phillies pitching for the nationals is joe ross with an era of 5.40 he's two and five 
Pitching for the Phillies is Spencer Howard with an ERA of 5.56. He's 0-1. Phillies opening up as favorites at minus 130. Washington plus 120 with the over-under at 9. Yeah, not much of a pitching advantage. Really identical pitching advantage here in the, um, in this matchup. I think your best bet's probably going with Washington on the plus money in this matchup. And uh, that's where I'm going to go. Next matchup, we have the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Milwaukee Brewers. The Diamondbacks. Pitching for the Diamondbacks is Merrill Kelly with an ERA of 5.04. He's 2-6. and six. Pitching for the Brewers is Brandon Woodruff with an ERA of 1.27. He is 4-2. and two. Brewers opening up as favorites at minus 215. Arizona plus 195 with the over-under at 7.5. You know, insane value for the Diamondbacks. Obviously, huge pitching advantage for the Brewers here. Um, definitely add some Brewers to some, the Brewers to some parlays here. But, um, you know, parlay the Tigers and um, maybe put the Diamondbacks in a round robin. I mean, man, insane value, plus 195 here. We'll add the Brewers to parlays, but as a straight bet, we'll take the Diamondbacks at plus 195. Hard to beat that value here. And, uh, yeah, next matchup, we have the Minnesota Twins versus the Kansas City Royals. Pitching for the Twins is Jose Barrios with an area of 3.36. He's 5-2. and two. Pitching for the Royals is Mike Miner with an area of 4.65. He is 4-2. and two. Minnesota opening up as favorites at minus 125. Kansas City plus 105 with the over-under at 8.5. I mean, both pitchers have been pretty decent on the mound this season. Um, Not much of value for me to really go with the Twins here. Don't really trust the Twins. I mean, I'll take the Royals on the plus money and take the better team here. Next matchup, we have the Boston Red Sox first, the New York Yankees. Pitching for the Red Sox is Eduardo Rodriguez. With an ERA of 5.64, he is 5-4. and four. Pitching for the Yankees is Jamison Tylon with an ERA of 5.10. And I'm always going to forever pronounce that name wrong, so that's just how it's going to go. With it, currently he's 1-4. and four. Pitching for the or Yankees, currently favorites at minus 118. Boston plus 108 with the over-under at 9. Not much of a pitching advantage in this matchup here. Um... Love the plus money with the Red Sox here. Um, Going to roll with Boston. Next matchup, we have the Chicago Cubs versus the San Francisco Giants. Pitching for the Cubs is Cole Stewart with an ERA of 0.0. He's 1-0. Pitching for the Giants is Kevin Gosman with an ERA of 1.40. He is 6-0. Giants opening up as favorites at minus 165. Chicago plus 155 with the over-under at 7.5. Yeah, I really love the Giants here. Huge pitching advantage for the Giants. Kevin's been phenomenal on the mound this season. Going to take the Giants. Next matchup, we have the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Atlanta Braves. Pitching for the Dodgers is Clayton Kershaw with an ERA of 3.33. He's 7-4. Pitching for the Braves is Charlie Morton with an ERA of 4.11. He's 4-2. Dodgers opening up as favorites at minus 150. Atlanta plus 130 with the over-under at 8.5. Yeah, really loving the Dodgers here. I love, love when Clinton Kershaw pitches for the Dodgers. He's been excellent this season. Charlie Morton's been pretty good as well. But, um, you know, I like the Dodgers here with Clayton on the mound. Next matchup, we have the Oakland Athletics versus the Colorado Rockies. Pitching for Oakland is Cole Irvin with an ERA of 4.12. He is 3-7. and seven. Pitching for the Rockies is Kyle Freeland with an ERA of 4.50. He is 0-0. Oakland opening up as favorites at minus 125. Colorado plus 115 with the over-under at 11.5. Super high over-under here. Um, It's been a high-scoring series here. Take the over 11.5 because Vegas wants us to. We'll we'll take the over here, and I'm going to roll with the better team in this matchup with Oakland. Not much of a pitching advantage, but I'm going to trust the better team comes out to play here with Oakland. Next matchup, we have the Seattle Mariners versus the Los Angeles Angels. Pitching for the Mariners is Yusai Kikuchi with an ERA of 3.88. He is 3-3. Pitching for the Angels is Alex Cobb with an ERA of 3.78. He is 3-2. LA opening up as favorites at minus 125. Seattle plus 115 with the over under at 8. 
yeah, you know, not much of a pitching advantage here in this matchup. Um, I think there's pretty good value here with the Mariners at plus 115. Not, don't really feel good taking the Angels at minus 125 here. I'd much rather take the Mariners at plus 115. And then the last matchup, we have the New York Mets versus the San Diego Padres. Pitching for the Mets is Jacob deGrom with an ERA of 0.71. He's 4-2. and two. Pitching for the Padres is Joe Musgrove with an ERA of 2.23. He's 4-4. Four and four. The Mets opening up as favorites at minus 120. San Diego plus 100 with the over-under at 5.5. Super high over-under here. The lowest on the entire slate. Uh, shouldn't be a high-scoring game here. Jacob deGrom has been you know, amazing on the mound. Joe Musgrove has been really good on the mound as well. I expect a low-scoring game here. Going to take the under 5.5 and, and hope it should be super close here. Going to take the Padres on the run line. That's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Saturday. And I'll see you guys on Sunday. Have a good one.